Satish, why would men want to give up their privileges? First, uh, uh, if uh, we can't say all men in a blanket that uh, they are um, they are opposed to equality, and uh, and they have if it is true that men have lots of privileges, but they have uh, restrictions also, they have burden also, they can't share their emotion also, and if they are going to share their power and privileges, they will gain so many things. And there, there are so many men they want to live in a such a society, in a such a family, where they are not treated as the only controller and protector. Satish, in practical terms, from your own experience, what could men and women do together in empowering women? Yeah, so many times, uh, particularly for me, it is very uh, personal things, and, and I think I am not going to save women or just only to reduce the violence against women on... Uh, because I feel that I feel very much violated when I see the women violated in my family, in my society, in my village, and I need such a, such a uh, support system, such a society, such a community, where people say condemned to violence and say publicly, no, we are not going to accept the violence. So sh and do you think the solutions should come locally? Yeah, I, I think, I think uh, it should come, and, uh, but we should not close the door also. Because, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, um, now the globalization, we can't, can't close the door, but it should be implemented and generated and rooted locally so it be a better impact. Gary, Satish yeah, yeah. and Linda, thank you all for joining me.